Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Chonga. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Chonga. Deadpool ain't waiting longer. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And today we're going to talk about this track from Designer called Timmy Turner. Now this one is based off of that double XL freestyle that he did that got everybody talking because it basically sounded like he was chanting a demonic spell or trying to summon some sort of level 25 demon to take over the world and eat our spirits or maybe do some voodoo, I don't know, just some evil type of shit. And now we got the full track here with Mike Dean dropping some really fire production. I actually like the first half of the beat where we get this evil sinister sound with these vocal pads and deep bass. But then by the end of the production, we get this angelic sound. And I think the beat is what really stole the show here. So I can't wait for the instrumental to drop so we can hear other MCs on it. Because as for designer, I've seen a lot of people comparing him to Future and Travis Scott on this track. And I can definitely see those comparisons. And content wise, I wasn't really expecting too much here. And you're not going to get too much here. I mean there is a little bit of a theme, a desperation, as he spits about Timmy Turner wanting the burner, and then of course you got the girl on BET who's trying to get her wallet thicker, so there's just, you know, people trying to make their money and do their thing, but for the most part it's just him mumbling about money, guns, and drugs, but people have taken some other meanings from it. Obviously some people are tying in Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents, and I remember when the freestyle first came out, some people thought that it was about this kid Timmy Turner about to do a school shooting or something like that, so feel free to tell me what you got out of this track. I didn't really think it was that deep, but I didn't think it was all out trash either. I do kind of like the unique take that he's doing on the hook, just has a cool vibe to it. It's kind of eerie and evil, and like I said, the production is fire on this, so I give it a 3 out of 5. The beat definitely does most of the work. But you guys can hit me up in the comments section to let me know what you think, and make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, man, where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.